What's up you guys? So I'm here with a new video today and I'm here to talk to you guys about Dimension Barrier, Dimensional Barrier. Uh, probably one of the most talked about cards that just got released um, in the latest pack. Uh, Invasion of Ven Vengeance. Um, I honestly feel like the title says that this card might be one of the best cards uh, released in a really long time. And I'm going to talk about why. I've been talking to multiple people about this card. We've seen the card have uh, some success. Some people have been main decking the card. Some people have been side decking the card. I feel that it's like a new version, basically, of Vanity's Emptiness. And it's just one of those cards that you might not think immediately like upon release like it's going to be like an absolute staple but i feel as the format pr progresses it's going to be a staple either in the main deck or the side deck uh let's just read the card for those of you who don't know what the card does uh declare one monster card type which is it can be the ritual fusion synchro xyz or pendulum this turn neither player can special summon monsters of the declared type also negate the effects of all face-up monsters on the field of the declared type while they are on the field you can only activate one dimension barrier per turn so let's analyze that. First, it's saying you declare basically any type. Say you call Synchro. Not only can your opponent, uh, neither player can special summon that declared type, so neither player can Synchro summon, it would also negate any other Synchro summons that are on the board. Take XYZ, same thing. Neither player can XYZ summon, you negate any XYZs that are on the board. That's pretty crazy. Not only is it a vanity's emptiness, but it's basically also a skill drain built into one card i feel like that is absolutely insane like if you think about the matchups you're going to play against let's say metal foes metal foes one arg so metal foes you call x uh, you call uh pendulums so basically you just be like okay activate dimension barrier pendulums they can't pendulum summon they have any pendulums on the board they're negated i mean that's pretty crazy or you call fusions because you know they, they do fusion with metal foe fusion so they can't fusion summon and you are able to negate any of the fusions that are already on the field i think that that is just insane there's so many implications you can use for this card like if you're playing against blue eyes and you know they make the spirit dragon and you know they already have it on board you can activate it they can't synchro again and then you can negate spirit dragon so it can't tag out which i think is really really cool so that get, that buys you time against these cards it's also a really good card against like hope harbingers and xyz because let's face it it negating spell sucks this is good um you know just in general a really good card it's not good against infinity you know they'd be able to negate it you know you could bait infinity with it which is cool but uh dimension barrier is also really good it forces the tag out of um uh, uh, Dragon Buster, so you're able to get past that. So I feel like overall, it's just a very, very solid card. Now, other implications it can have, um, like if we go down the line, Rituals, it's good against Herald. Uh, you know, if you set it up early enough, uh, fusions, the main fusions come from, um, mostly from Metal Foes if they do Fusion Summon. Synchros come from the Dark Synchro deck. I think a lot of people are forgetting about that deck. The deck's scary as hell. Omega's a pain in the ass. Getting triple Omega trished, I mean, it happens. So this is a really good card. XYZs is basically every deck in this format. It negates any XYZs. Makes your opponent can't XYZ. And then Pendulums, of course, would be a Pendulum-based deck like Metal Foes. So basically, it covers the entire meta in one card. It becomes a Vanity's Emptiness, and it becomes a Skill Drain. I think any card that can you know add have both of those effects at one is just insane at the same time it's just insane i feel like the card is definitely going to be a staple um either in the main deck or in the side deck for sure we've seen certain decks are playing it uh paleozoics have already been known to main three of them i mean if you think of a basic trap deck and you're running solemns the three strikes the warning you added dimension barriers i mean it's just insane it's like you're playing four vanities emptiness like honestly if you're playing three of this and one vanities that's like four vanities because you're basically saying okay for this turn you can't pay play, play Yu-Gi-Oh. like once you know what you're playing you usually know what you're playing after turn two turn one turn two you can set up dimension barrier however you want now the only thing with dimension barrier if you if you're playing a mirror or whatever is being very careful how you activate the card and when because you also will be locked out so if you're playing a pendulum mirror um, your pendulums will get negated you won't be able to summon pendulum monsters so it's just something to take into account but i feel it's just a very very good card for this game and i feel it is definitely going to be a staple in the near future but uh i just wanted to talk about this card today because i think it's just an absolutely phenomenal card i made sure to get my set this card is definitely going to change uh the way people play Yu-Gi-Oh. i truly believe like just the way vanity's evidence had such an impact i feel this 
this card is going to be like the next Vanity's Emptiness because it's going to lock out a lot of decks, and I think that that's just crazy. So yeah, that's that's what I got for today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, leave a like. Let me know any other uh, discussions you want, uh, discussions you like to see, whether it be an archetype, whether it be a certain card. I just wanted to bring this one to everyone's attention because I feel like outside of Totally Awesome, this was the main card to pick up from Invasion of Vengeance. It's just a phenomenal card, and it's just a trap that I feel. If your deck can play it, if you can get it in your side of your main, you should, because it definitely will help your games, especially if you don't have that great a matchup against a certain type of deck, whether it be a Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, XYZ, or Pendulum deck. If you have a weakness to one of those, this card can be like uh, a safe cushion to get around those cards, and I think that's really, really important, and that's something that we've needed um, in previous formats, like getting past all the XYZs, like during the XYZ format where everyone was just, every deck XYZ, this card would have been great, but uh, basically we're in formats where it can be anything. It can be any of these cards listed because every deck, uh, you know, every deck can synchro if they have tuners, every deck can XYZ summon. Certain decks can Ritual Summon, Fusions happen in Metal Foes, and Pendulums, like I said, are just in Pendulum decks in general. So being able to negate these things is great. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment in the discussions. What do you think about this card? Do you feel this card will be a staple in the near future? Do you feel it's a staple right now? And um, any other cards you want me to talk about from any set, just let me know, and I'll bring them uh, here in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.